<laughs> Who are you going to discuss, If your Billy? genitals smell like feet, then there's possibly something else going wrong. I well, mean, Billy, there's what a lot of people of out woman, here. Uh, Why is everyone talking a like we have out a here, lot of Billy. money and horses? There's a lot of people out here, Billy, who genitals are not up to par. Genitals. I know a girl, her pussy smells like barbecue potato chips. I like barbecue potato chips. What's yep, the until name? you stick your head in the bag and you smell a bag of barbecue potato chips. I like that. Can hey. I stick my head in her bag? Hey, What's wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. We're not going to do that. Nope. 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 We're going to do that. So he's not going to do that? Not going to do it. <sighs> she Snapchat. She showed me Kathy. That's the pussy name. She named her pussy Kathy. <laughs> it was Harry. I really had to have it. And every time I touched it and rub it, she let me grab it. Hey. I had to dig up in my hand. She want me stab it. Mm. She said, Los, you be fucking like a rabbit. And then I slowed it down here though with the turtle dick. Got crazy. Circle, circle, circle dick. Ooh, she liked it. She want to bite it. Her homegirl said she wants some. Now they fight. <laughs> well, I guess so. I said it here once, and I'll one. say it again. Look, look, when we're talking about trash, we yes. won't talk about garbage. garbage. We really won't. If you're talking about trash, you won't talk about garbage. Yes, I, I agree. Indeed. I yes, couldn't indeed. agree with you more in that well, one. Welcome uh, back to the 85 South Show. This is a podcast. 85! Yes, indeed. For niggas who do shit exactly like that. They always, they they'll never bring up. Why they'll never bring up Pee Wee Kirk? Hey, uh, only niggas still be selling dope in the NBA. They gave the nigga the contract. He said, hell, I got that in my pocket. Yeah, they I'm want him to play 82 games for $100,000. He said, I don't Pee Wee said, shit, nope. I just loaned the nigga $100,000. You ain't going to let Long. me have no more out there. Look yeah. it up. It's in the motherfucking book. I'm going to tell you somebody else they need to talk about. Talk about Vernon Maxwell. You talk, talk about, about it. Vernon, Vernon Maxwell. Vernon Maxwell whooped everybody ass one season. One and season. Everybody who and tried to call him got their motherfucking ass whooped. He also, didn't even get suspended. He also had a cocaine problem. He was using cocaine at the Orange Car Watch right there in the Third War. I knew Vernon Maxwell was a bad motherfucker when they named him. Any nigga with two old nigga first names going to be called. Well... <laughs> The shy kid said this podcast is for niggas that take their shoes off when they race because they make them run faster. Only black people know yeah, that. Niggas Only. Now, song. see, now that is an alternative black history fact. The now, first we don't nigga have to take the exact off. name of the first nigga to take his shoes oh, off. Oh, Chauncey. Because black people weren't allowed to have shoes for so long. Uh. That's probably why we take our shoes off. Now, if the Olympics let niggas run barefoot, yeah. the record book about to be fucked all the way up. Because every nigga in here got a cousin. That's a female that can't nobody beat when she take her shoes off. Gravel. 92 AM Rebel Radio presented to you by Diet Mountain Dew and Gladys Knight's Chicken and Waffles. If you could call in right now and be the 92nd caller at 920 PM Eastern Standard Time on the ninth day of the 20th month, we're going to send you a t-shirt. Hello? My granddaddy 92. Is that cool? Go ahead, Billy. So, yeah, so. Uh, We're picking up. Billy is currently telling us a story about how his lady used to smash a bunch of rappers in Houston. Yeah, and, and he was getting his toes done. Yeah. Thank you, brothers. Go I ahead. appreciate it. No, no, no ever time before this have I felt so supported. <laughs> getting I appreciate dead. y'all. Go ahead. So, we sit in there. Uh huh. Who you I'm, listening to now? Please say Lil Flip. No, oh. we ain't listening to nobody. <laughs> it's Mike Jones. Because we in the fucking it's nail Mike shop. Jones. Bro, your girl fucking Mike Jones. You got to leave. Here. You gotta, yeah, he yeah, be like, hey, zero, zero, four. She be like, he got a new number. That you gotta ain't leave. even his real number. So I'm no, sitting there no. in the nail shop. You know what I'm saying? She got the little champagne. We sitting there holding hands. It's cool. Go ahead. Who comes through the door? Bad Slim bitch. Oh. And right behind him, Slim Thug. Damn. Of all account. places to be, I hate to, he walks, I hate to be the asshole, but just I hope this happened in the story, Nate. Before you tell her, I hope his girl jump up at the tub, run and hug this nigga, like because that nigga tall. Yeah. I wanted to get on her tiptoes and hug. And she just hug across hug him the around Houston the on his right, back, right, right, right. Okay. just across the Houston that you love so much. <laughs> so, <laughs> first off, what did now, she do? What your girl do? When first off, off oh, shit. first off, she tried to act like she didn't see the nigga oh, walk through the goddamn shit. Nigga shot. She saw him. She hit him like six she, eight. She hit, look. She get her feet done. She going to look all of a sudden. She pick up a Jet magazine. Nobody reads Jets no more. She all of a sudden start thumbing through Jet and shit. So I look up. to hide behind a Jet? Nigga, that's the smallest magazine in it. (laughs) Jet is eight inches high. Nigga, get the newspaper. Nigga. So I'm sitting there like, oh, shit, this nigga right here. And so she got that lock on my hand. She won't let my hand go. Cause she don't want to look so like tight that you know that she know the yeah, okay. yeah, yeah 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 so she got that grip you know you we, in a lot we, we in a lot so oh, I'm like ah right. uh-huh. I'm trying to pull my hand but I'm like fuck I can't then I can do I'm looking weak right now I'm about to take this L so the, he walks right over the girl walks over and say hey Billy Slim walk over hey boy I see you out there doing your thing 
You got your little mama with you? I said, yeah, man, this is my lady right here. So she raises the magazine down. He said, oh, what's up, pretty girl? Good to see you again. It's like, nigga. Again? Nigga hit you with that the, memory the lane. Dagger, the dagger hit me right in my chest. I was like, ugh. And he was like, he was like, hey, man, look, I want to get you on one of my albums. I want you to come fuck with me. Ain't that the worst Take one my nigga number nice. down. The whole time he giving me his number, I had to take it. He's saying it loud enough where she can hear it. I'm like, bitch, you better it. not remember. She done scratched it into the Jet magazine. He might as well just say, hey, take my number, but put it in your girl phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> she done put it on the Jet Beauty of the Week leg. It hurt. So so basically, you could have just got the number from her. She had it. Nah, she didn't have that. He got a new number. Oh, That's what I said. I number. went to compare notes, and I was like, Maybe she still got it. I say, please tell me for the sake of all niggas, please say you acted a fool in the car. At oh, what point did you act a fool? Look, 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 look. I want to hear the voicemail you left Slim Thug. <laughs> Fuck that. I'd have been on the phone. Nigga, you out your goddamn mind? You see me interlocked? Hey, nah. I'm getting a sea skull scrub. Nigga, I got hot stones on my to leg, nigga. Honest, the to, wedding is coming up. To be honest, <laughs> let me tell you, the nigga's such a gentleman, She's dog. pregnant, nigga. The nigga's such a gentleman, It's bro. our baby, nigga. Why would you do this? Nigga? Hey, dog. He was a gentleman, dog. I seen, it, I seen a nigga out in the club with my lady, dog. Me, we, me and my lady was out in the club. Oh, I thought he was with your lady and you no, saw no, no, him in the club. No, no. You have to say God that. God damn it, Nate. No. You no. said I saw the nigga out in the club with my lady. So man, Slim Thug and like... my lady in the club. Right. I happened to bump into him. <laughs> you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind being vulnerable on the 85 South Show. Somebody got to do it. fucked up Slim Thug listen to the 85 South Show. Who can be like, damn, I ain't know the little bro felt like that. <laughs> he don't even know who he is. Nah, say the girl like... name. Oh, you talking about Cheryl. Oh. <laughs> oh, loose mouth ass shirt. You talking about loose mouth? <laughs> you in love with loose mouth? You talking about loose mouth juicy you know, booty shirt? Hey, this old I love loose ass. <laughs> <laughs> get his feet done, ass nigga. <laughs> Bruh. So I got in the Not car. Not only did he get his feet done, they put the clear on there. <laughs> I got, I got in the car. Close. They, they I got in the car. It. So you know, you first when you want to do a full blow. Oh, you but can't God, just... God got a sense of humor too. Soon as he cranked the car, guess what came on the radio? Slim. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Houston, motherfucker, that's where I stay. Hey, look. <laughs> and I run. Hey man, that shit to me oh, hey shit. so let me tell you the, the the saving grace for the whole situation was i did get in the car i went off a little bit but a i didn't bit. go right off you okay. know i had that look out the window like passive aggressive about it yeah i had right. to i was like so she had to ask you what was wrong so you, you what's wrong with you she had to pat your shoulder what's nah wrong, she baby? was she knew what was time it was right it was, it was arguing time it was, it was time to argue uh -huh. <laughs> said it off time nigga. so i'm sitting there, i'm like yeah i'm gonna just chill take your time breathe Cause you, you know, you get too mad, you don't get your point out. You right. just be mad. Yeah. Cause you like when the man get mad, don't nothing come out. But I had words. to think. That's right. it. That's all what I had to do out. was I needed to use this moment to yeah. leverage some bullshit that I had already. But previously you can't. Did. Oh, so you saved an argument from before? No, no, no. What I you did got was some sisters, that's uh, I got uh, sisters. No, 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 no. You ain't got no sisters. No, I do. That's some shit. That's some shit. Or or so what I need to do? I ain't gonna call that. So I said, hey, I don't want to hear you say nothing no more about how you feel when you run into people I used to fuck with. Oh, uh, here she go. We got to chalk all that shit up and charge it to the I'm fucking I'm going to tell you game. where you fucked up at. You what? was too selfish with your demand. You yeah. should have started your argument off stronger. You can't just jump out there demanding shit. <laughs> you fucking nigga, stop looking through my phone. You can't do you that. You can't do that. You combine the two things. Right. You just got to focus. Uh-uh. You should have you should have came in that bitch with some common sense and be like, look, you see this the type of shit that happened. And then compare your situation. Mm -hmm. Well, see, then you really look like a hoe for bringing up old shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You gotta just understand it, that as a man, you, you don't get the with. you don't get to say shit. You just gotta take every goddamn thing. I, and I know that. And she and huh? she always. Oh shit! Some more shit happened. Okay. So we there in the club. Uh -huh. Okay. Bet. Chilling. Everything good. Like how I you be my, doing? Boom. Now who I'm thinking about. You was dancing? Yeah, I was. Show how you snap, you... nigga. <laughs> no, show them how you was dancing. So I was look, there. The story oh. good as fuck. Like, this nigga got his nails and toes done in the club dancing like this. Boom, like, I was there. Because you, hey, you know you happy. nails. You know you happy when you got the two snaps. Because you know that's how you dance with your lady. It's like, it's a good week. Ain't no arguing. What the fuck was playing? My girl? Nigga? Hey, it don't matter, nigga. I was just having a good time, nigga. <laughs> dude, that, when dude, you in love, dude, it don't matter. Dude. I was in we the club. 1958. Man, look, I'm out there. I'm, I got my little two step going. Shit, we wow. out there. All I see is a trail of bottles. Okay. That's the first thing. With the sparklers on. Sparklers. So you make I, sure you see. I'm talking about the line. You know, now they do the lines and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, right. VIP. So train. now this is two uh, two years mm -hmm. after the original okay. meetup. Wow. Sparklers come through. 
And I'm like, damn, it's a lot of goddamn bottles. I don't know where the fuck they're going. You gotta shoot this nigga, man. This is the third story. <laughs> <laughs> so the bottles are paramount at the top of the club. It seemed like the whole club just got higher because the sections was in levels. Okay. Right? At, the, at the pinnacle of the, the top of the club, there Slim Thug a lot with 28 bottles and like 13 bad bitches around him. Uh-huh. Right? And so I'm standing at the bottom of the floor on the dance floor looking up. And we down there with our little drink. I'm two stepping. Like a peasant. Now I'm like, damn. I'm Hold looking up. real peonish right now. <laughs> but did you look like that with your neck? All I could, I could, I was. It was, it was one of them. It was one of them. Did looks the nigga take one the of the bottles and pour the alcohol in your mouth? No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> Why you do my partner like that? Like, I was just asking. It's you real life. This shit got okay. shit, Nate. Don't be playing. Hey, this shit, this shit, hey this, you ain't shit, Nate. Something happened. What so, slipped up? Do we he lock eyes? So what he did was, I tried to act like I didn't see it. Think I'm crying. He motioned for me. He motioned for me. He said. Hey, hey, and I can hear this nigga voice over the cause you club. down. He got he got acoustics. And yeah. so he's hey peasant. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so hey look. my nigga down there in the broke VIP. Come up here with the rich <laughs> niggas. At. Yeah, and so it looked like it looked like Mount Olympus up there. All the bitches in the bottles. And, okay, and all the he shit. He got so many bottles. The club dark, but his section lit up. His this nigga got bottles everywhere. And Mount so Olympus. I'm, I'm trying. Shout I'm out like, to Crit. I kept my snap going. I was like, I don't see the nigga. I'm not going up there. I'm not finna get put under this type of pressure. I can't buy no bottles tonight. So oh, I'm chilling. I'm sitting there like, it's good. Just snapping. Baby, he be talking about, he trying to get your attention. I was like, bitch, I seen him. But see, that's when you should have got mad. Like, bitch, why you paying attention? <laughs> I know what the nigga said. Drink your drink. So look, we sitting there. Yeah. And then at the last minute, bottle girl comes over. Hey, Slim want y'all to come up to the section, man. He yeah. really don't want you to come. I know he don't. <laughs> right. I know he don't. Mm-mm. And so I got, I'm like, all right. He's seen loose So now. I go up. Shut up, dog. Shut Wait. up. When I had that from you. So I go up to the He's I seen go loose mouth, I go up there to the that section. Message. We, get, we get up there. He hits me with the dab and the arm grab. Hey, boy, I just want to let you know I'm proud of you. You putting Houston on the map. You doing your goddamn thing out there. Keep doing your shit. Right. I'm proud of you, boy. You taking big steps. Congratulations on your wedding and your marriage and all of that. Wait Who told him? <laughs> How that nigga know about your wife? Hey, hey, Sit hey. back. Let me see his face. Who told him? Who told him? How you know about uh, Jack? That's what this fucking story is about, Nate. You done said that. You you so obvious. Hey. Bleep the name. Yeah, thanks. Jag ain't the name outspoken code. Oh. Now, I, I, is that close fine. enough? No, that, yeah. All right. Well, just let me, yeah. Well, it's fine. It's it's. I took it to the stage. Everything's out in the yeah, open. He already talks about this shit everywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I talked about it on stage. That, but it, I had to talk about it in front I of I hadn't heard night. it in he this came, much detail, though. Yeah, this is incredible. He came to the improv in Houston one night right. when I had my show, and I just had to let it out. And then we laughed about it again, and it's over. So now it's, it's I think cool. he had a better now, laugh he, than be you did. he had to be my children and no he, shit like that. He had a better laugh about it than you did. Oh, I bet he did. I bet he did. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, still laughing. He going to see this and laugh. <laughs> that shit still hurt that little nigga. <laughs> nigga, that was a hundred bitches ago. <laughs> he, gonna, he gonna see you in a couple years. You know what episode was my favorite one, fam? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna give. He gonna put it in the rap. I like the toenail episode. Can't man. be mad at me because I tap your broad ass. Niggas still talk about it on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I can hear it. That shit gonna be hard too. It's gonna be every nigga favorite line. Oh, shit. Man, he killed that nigga, man. He that killed. Shit hurts. It hurts. You know what? To get over some of this pain, let's read some fan comments. Mo K said this podcast is for niggas that always have an emergency switch or stash somewhere. Uh, oh yeah. my God. This nigga know exactly who the podcast is for. My nigga Robert McGill said this podcast is for niggas that get high as fuck and listen to the TVs with their eyes closed when the TV is off. Man. That nigga's high. That nigga's on next level high. <laughs> nigga, if the TV off, what the fuck is you watching? That's what I'm saying. This nigga's imagining this show. You watch with your ears, though, bro. When You you don't watch with your ears when you, you sleep? Can't you can't. The TV can't, off. Ain't nigga, no sound coming out of nothing. That nigga though. basically said this show is for niggas with pure imagination. <laughs> <laughs> that he nigga said the best way to this say show that is for blind niggas. That's what he just said. <laughs> hey, shout out to my man Paco Boyd. Paco said this podcast is for niggas who make minimum wage but got a lot saved up. That hey. nigga's on it. Clap for that. Go ahead. Clap that shit right there. Stop taking them pictures Bruh, with that money on your face. On I knew Instagram. some niggas who used to deliver pizza just because they like to eat pizza. Man, look, I <laughs> promise you. Let me tell you who I'm fucking with right now. I'm fucking with King Duty though. King Duty said I spent two weeks in the country. I know what Billy was talking about with the sausage and the noodles. Thank you, King Duty, for defending my honor out here. I appreciate you. King you, Duty. Oh. I'm finna tell fuck niggas shut the fuck up. Hey, I bought these noodles. Yeah. Better not tell my mama. Hey, hey. hey. Cause if she see an empty package, don't be drunk. Hey, yeah. she like you wasted food. You what? dumb fool. Hey. Get what? Hey. I ain't getting you no money to go to school. Hey. I love 
Get my noodle with a little beef in it. Beef in it. Cut that sausage up and then I ski in it. Hey. Work huh? chest of sauce. Huh? What? What? Hey, what? nigga, what? stop the beat. No. Hey, man. No. Hey, nigga, stop what? hitting the table. No. Everybody stop doing what? shit. Somebody no. died. When did they have a sausage flavor? No. Hey, Ever. Like, when? He I cut sauces up in it. Wait. King so the only dude. nigga that got your back name is King Duty. Give, give a shit. <laughs> right. This is stupid, hey, nigga. Did you? But you gonna act? But you gonna act like you ain't seen? Carlos, who's responsible for the names? Are these real people? No, they made their own. These people leave comments in the comments. A section. nigga named himself King Duty. Okay, but act like you don't see Pablo Escobar said this podcast is not for niggas who skeet in your noodles. Ah, nasty mama, mama bitch. <laughs> 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 Boogie Black said this podcast is for niggas that interrupt your prayers with suggestions. Uh, nigga, make sure you bring your mommy in because you know she ain't feeling well. <laughs> the Shy Kid said this podcast is for niggas that take their shoes off when they race because they make them run faster. Only black people know yeah, that. Niggas Only. Now, see, now that is an alternative black history fact. The now, first we don't nigga have to take the exact off. name of the first nigga to take his shoes oh, off. Oh, Chauncey. Because... Black people weren't allowed to have shoes for so long. Uh. That's probably why we take our shoes off. Now, if the Olympics let niggas run barefoot, yeah. the record book about to be fucked all the way up. Because every nigga in here got a cousin that's a female that can't nobody beat when she take her shoes off. Nobody. Gravel, uh, black top, in the street, grass, Nowhere. whatever. You Nowhere. can't fuck yeah. with her with no shoes She's faster than my... When she run, her booty get lower to nigga, the ground. Nigga, I'm like so country. I got cousins that take their shoes off when they get ready to fight. This nigga talking shit. Yeah, I, I put my shoes back on when right. I'm finna fuck, though. Just me. For the grip. I need that I learned traction. that shit from Mr. Marcus. Yep. Yeah, put your shoes back on. When you I can't get over King pussy. Duty, nigga. That's an incredible day. Hey, Mo K, this podcast is for niggas that still remember the intro with the 8555. Joe, bring it back. We bring, we getting too many requests. Two, that's like the 201. They want the old fucking intro. You know what? People love the old intro so much. This going to be the first podcast with two motherfucking intros. We just going to drop the old intro randomly throughout the show. And the people who don't get it just won't fucking get it. It ain't, it ain't for you. Any, hey, hey, Joe, anytime you need to cut to some shit, guess what we need to hit them with? 85. That's the one that put us in the game. They was like, who the fuck is that? Nigga, that's me. They didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh, really? They didn't even know that. I, I was like, you can't dropping. put that shit together. Hey. That was some original shit awesome. from uh B Studio. And then he took the shit and put it together. We was like, remember I told you the second episode we figured out this show was yep. the shit? That's that around one. the time. Mm -hmm. That's around the time. What else we got on this motherfucking board? Chain OP. Oh. This Chain on Skate Boy P. That nigga said, this Bling, nigga's blah. bars are under investigation. I don't know about that nigga Billy. At, 30, <laughs> at, at 30, 34 40. minutes and 25 seconds. I've been skipping through this show since he said the word skeet. I guess some niggas <laughs> like listening to Trina. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Billy. Get him, get him, get him, Billy. Get it's nothing, no P. It's the nothing you can do about that. <laughs> nothing you can do about that. That's, that's just there. It's Why what Trina got to do? This <laughs> is your man, Steve. <laughs> 92 AM Rebel Radio. And we got those brand new 85 South Show t-shirts. Just like the one I'm wearing right now. Just like my brother Randy's wearing right now. Just like the one we're holding up right now. He's holding you it. get your t-shirt just like you heard it right here on 92 AM Rebel Radio. You, you need tell to go to 85 southshowcom and place your goddamn order. <laughs> You need to take your hands off your nuts and go to your computer and type 85 south Calm down, Randy. C calm down, Put Randy. Put anybody's damn t-shirt. Randy, calm down. Take your hands off your nuts and go to your computer and put 85 south Now, you know you done got Randy pissed off. He's happier than squirrel nuts. You done got my brother all excited. Show him your shirt, Randy. I got it on. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Listen. These 85 South Show shirts are perfect for wearing them to football games, kicking it with your buddies. And drinking beer. Don't forget about the beer. Drink your dad. No, Red Bull. You're drinking beer and, Drink and, and, and all beer. of that. Because over at 92 AM Rebel Radio, we love wearing T-shirts. And they're very absorbent. You can waste the beer and soak it right up, and you can fuck it right off the shirt. We just got our 85 South Show T-shirts. And we're going to cut a V in them and cut the sleeves off of them. <laughs> but we just got them. We ain't have no scissors. What radio station we're on? 92 AM Rebel Radio. <laughs>
Eighty. Show him the goddamn T-shirt. I showed him. Damn it! What you want me to take it off and put it on the camera? The white one, Randy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Ninety two AM Rebel Radio. God damn it, you go to eighty five seven, you get you a t shirt. You take your hands off your nuts right now and you go on like You're a- not a real goddamn supporter if you don't go and get these t shirts. You see these colors? Same about the flag. If you stand and you say the flag. God damn it, if they sell enough of these t shirts, they can move back to Africa. <laughs> you go back and now you support that. You and, want one of these? And you're telling you telling we said it on ninety two AM Rebel. Radio. We're not bullshit. Listen here. You can get a white one. Or you can get the blue one like I got. Or you can get the green one. Like he got on this. Or if you can get the brown one. Listen, we'll that's my brother one. Randy right there. Um, this my big brother. I don't know his name. My but name is. Brother. God damn it, I'm Stevie. That's big brother Stevie. Listen here. Me and my brother Randy over there. We've been supporting the shit since when they did, when they was over there with the big studio. Now and they're Steve in Steve Harvey, because they think yeah. Chad stole it. Listen, he didn't steal it. Listen here. Now they're in that piece of shit place. Listen. But fuck it. They got t-shirts and they're pretty. So get you they're one. They're nice. They're real nice They're folks good boys. Somewhere. They never stole. He cut my grass a now couple of times, and he, he brought the lawnmower back. Now listen. If you're a big fat ass, we got big <laughs> ones too. They go up about 5X. After that, fuck you. You get at us when you lose Too much someone. cotton. Too much goddamn fat. They ain't picking that much cotton God anymore. Damn it. These, these shirts are real nice right here. And stretchable. Get you one. Made in America. Made right here in America. And you know what? You can get head right in the shirt. You can put it right over her head. <laughs> you tell them, Randy. Put it right over her head and you... woo the shirt is amazing. If you don't get the shirt, don't even bother calling up here at 92 a.m. Rebel Ring. What station? 92 a.m. Rebel Ring. You better say it just like it. Home of the greatest music ever, buddy. And don't you ever get it fucked up. Let's sing them a song. If you don't get no t-shirt, don't call up Rebel Radio. Hey, we might take the phone and beat your ass. Beat your ass. They got t-shirts for sale. Sale. Gray and blue and white as hell. Hey. Call up so you can get you one. We got t-shirts shirts for sale. For sale. We got t-shirts shirt for sale. sale. They we got that. gray ones and blue ones, and some are white as hell, but we got t-shirts for sale. Yes, we do. We got t-shirts for sale. We, we got, got gray ones and blue, blue ones, and some are white as hell. hell. They got some that's white <laughs> as hell. 92 a.m. The Rebel Ray. My nigga S. Johnson said this podcast is for the young niggas with their uncle that you can't leave no girl around because that nigga might pull up. He might put we it on. always show respect to the OGs on the 85 South Show. Speaking of showing it. respect to the OGs, mm. we've been getting a lot of requests for Uncle Tyrone. Yeah. We got to bring Uncle Tyrone back. If you don't know OG Tyrone, this nigga 80 years old, he remember when hoes was out here selling pussy for a dollar. That's God, not something damn. that I made up. That's a fact. He told me out of his own mouth. Man, he just didn't want to say That's what the term dollar pussy? Nigga, if they did that today. He didn't want to to the ladies, and I understand you that completely. You get a four for four. Fuck women. I, I, I Shout think, out to Easy Money. This podcast is for bitches who play bad and, bu- bad and bougie while taking the city bus to work. <laughs> we love that. We love that. We, we love, love that. that. This is a living oxymoron, I think. Shout out to all the mixed bitches who don't know how to do their hair. Mm. Got that same struggling ponytail. We love you though. With the waves in it. We fuck with you. Yeah. Shout out to all the bitches that cut their eyebrows off and then had to rush to work without them. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I draw them off. Wow. You drew, you, hey, you, draw, you struck a nerve. You know what? I want to give a shout out to all the women who can't cook but know how to heat up everything in the microwave good as fuck. <laughs> mm. Bitch told me you can't put styrofoam in the microwave one time. She don't know what she's talking about. What the fuck you talking about? That shit be melting and shit? I mean, it depends on how long you leave it in there. But the shit I'm doing, it ain't going to be in that long. Because my plate already in the microwave, you punk motherfuckers. Hey, man, when you start fucking with the 85 South Show, <coughs> when you start fucking with it, uh, what was it that made you fuck with this, what we do over here? Nigga, I really fuck with you in D.C. That's what you real. mean? That's nigga, we, nigga, we did Wildin' Out, and I've known you for hella. And, man, I fucks with D.C., man. This nigga, I feel like 
This nigga a little young ass star. Yeah. And he but some people just like he just wild. I'm like, nigga, that's what that's the essence. Yeah. The not knowing you what know he how, might. I, I know might. the nigga good because you pointed over there like he was over there. Yeah, that's he where I met with it. But he's he like, this with his hat like this and his afro is sticking all above his ears. And he shit. really He'd don't be give like a fuck. I eat the booty. I eat the booty. So right. I know what he'd be doing if he was here. But I fucks with him tough. That's my partner on a set on several different projects because I'm 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 grinding in Hollywood. You know right. what I'm saying? Uh, and, that's a strange place. And, and every just, time y'all come out, we link. You know what I'm saying? And so I I seen him working on like uh, was it VH1's Hip Hop Squares? Yeah. I did all the warm up for the show. Right. So I try to have his back as best as I can from behind the camera. Like, look, man, there's two cameras over here kind of turn a little bit. I want him to win. I want the young bull to win. I've been fucking with y'all, man. Man, I appreciate that shit. Billy, when you start fucking with it. Shit, man, I've been fucking with it, man. Tough, dog. When you niggas first hit the first This Podcast is for, mm-hmm. they, they own it. They own it. They own it. I said that shit was coming across my timeline. And I was like, y'all don't even know the niggas where this came from. See, Billy, and you know what we got a lot of feedback from? Mm-hmm. When, when I told the niggas about motherfucking Dr. J, oh, that, that's what it was. Yeah. Niggas didn't want to see it they till I put it on the motherfucking yeah. Twitter. Dr. J yeah. played his last four seasons wearing me, uh, Adidas, shell toe Adidas. Yeah. They wasn't even hot top, they was the mid. First nigga to play a whole game with his shoes, not even all the way tied up. Scored 32 points, had seven rebounds and six assists and four steals. Yeah, well, he did that. That was, that was Dr. J, and there would be never be another one like it. A lot of niggas don't even know that black people started the NBA. Yeah. yeah they had the ABA first. And then they said it's going to be niggas basketball alive. Exactly. Exactly. Dude, when Kareem Abdul, Jab- Kareem Abdul Jabbar was so motherfucking good. They said a nigga couldn't dunk. They stopped and let niggas dunk when Kareem Abdul Jabbar come up. Was so you nice, don't believe they let him play it. with Look his up. Muslim name. Well, first of all, hell yeah, if you that's how cold about, he was. Talk about change his name. James. If you on wanna... Monday had a game that Wednesday. God damn, that's a lot. I of guess games. you. I guess neither one of you niggas ever heard of a man by the name Wilton Steel Chamberlain. Who? Wilton Steel Chamberlain. You, oh, you talking about you? Oh, talking about Buckshot? Listen, we do the nigga Buck. We call him Buckshot. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about him. The nigga, the nigga scored a hundred points in the basketball game without a three point line. Shit, that ain't shit. They gave that nigga points. A hundred points. He used to do that points. shit all the motherfucking time. A hundred points ain't shit. He had yeah, eighty nine points in the third hundred points in the first goddamn half. He was playing against all white boys. That's why. Don't matter. Don't, don't matter. matter. See, now you gonna bring that shit up. Don't matter. You don't get to pick who you play again. You don't get to pick. Then what? They said that was the best motherfucker. Only white man. They said nigga wasn't even playing ball. Goddamn is Larry Bird. The nigga had to have an animal. Larry Bird is a black man. He, he Why you think he never animal. seen no picture of his daddy? His last name. Why you think only he white man that could grow a full goddamn afro? Right. For real? That's Come on, it. man. Let me tell you something. And it's probably talking about famous Celtics. He, he really talking Larry about Spence. a man who got all the goddamn rings. Who? Bill Russell. Okay. He's still taking bitches down now. I seen him at the uh, goddamn All Star weekend. They, Bill Russell he had just three said, strippers in his he, hotel room. He just room. did the dedication speech. Bill Russell looked at everybody. Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal. Talk. He looked at everybody. All I still breaks. kick your ass. Bill Russell said, "I whoop all y'all ass yeah, today. Man. Today. Not when I what I used to do. Today I whoop your motherfucking he ass." Meant it hey. too. The nigga said, "If I take my shoes off, I outrun all you niggas too." Hey, shit. Bill Russell got nine rings. They ain't talking about what Rob. They Lord always they don't never bring up. Why they don't never bring up Pee Wee Kirk? Hey. Uh, only niggas still be selling dope in the NBA. They gave the nigga the contract. He said, hell, I got that in my pocket. I'm they want him to play 82 games for $100,000. He said, I Pee-wee don't said, shit, nope. I just loaned the nigga $100,000. You ain't going to let Long. me have no more out there. Look yeah. it up. It's in the motherfucking book. Let me tell you something else they need to talk about. Talk about Vernon Maxwell. You talking talk about, about it. Vernon Maxwell. Maxwell whooped everybody ass one season. One Every, season everybody who tried to call him got their motherfucking ass whooped. He also, he, suspended. he also had a cocaine problem. He was using cocaine at the Orange Car Wash right there at the Third Ward. I knew Vernon Maxwell was a bad motherfucker when they named him. Any nigga with two old nigga first names gonna be cold. Well, this is what you don't know. Is it Since Vernon y'all is it Maxwell? City, nigga, it's both. Dominique Wilkins got a hundred kids. It's a hundred niggas in Atlanta. Look, just like Dominique Wilkins right now. Dominique Wilkins was the GOAT. In Atlanta. You guess you were. Fuck business from downtown all the way up with that County. He was the first ball player to ever be on the Duke box. You know, he started that whole tree. He had he was on both boxes. He had the S. Carroll and the Duke. Yeah, and then they brought Dion in on the uh, on the Duke box. Now then, Deion Sanders, that ha- he had a natural Jerry curl. Hey. A lot of people don't know that neither. They don't know how fast on the Wheaties box too. Now, shit, Deion Sanders made so much money in college, he let the coach bar or something. 
Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah. Swear to God. Hey, hey. Shit, I know the nigga, Uncle. Let me tell you something about Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders is so cold. Let me tell you something. Deion Sanders intercepted the ball. Talk to took him. it back for a pick six. You yeah, know who else Boy, they could get lined up on the other side. Yeah. He fucked two bitches out there by the popcorn That's, stand. Look, his daddy was good. You know Bucket? Yeah. Bucket Sanders, his daddy. Yo, no. Bucket. You talking about Bucket. You bullshit. The one that ran out of body shop out there. I seen it. Bucket Sanders, son. You talking about Bucket with no bottom jeans? No, not that one. That This is the other Bucket. That Bucket Oh, Sanders. I was talking about Fucky Bucket. You no. talking about Bucket. Bucket. Yeah. Yes. Funky Bob and them little brother. How big got that? Yeah. That's why the nigga so fast. That's why he's here. Yeah. Yeah. Funky Bob was Cause you run away from that funk on Funky Bob. Well, funky Bob is You got to be fast out running the smell, goddammit. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Tell yeah. you who else was cold. Who? Who? Jesse Owen. Shit. Uh, shit. They just you know, know it from track. Jesse Owen, one of the most athletic niggas ever born, man. Goddamn right. The only nigga shit, I see outrun a cheetah. Jackie Robinson can jump out the motherfucking gym. Hey, hey. But let me tell you about Jesse Owens. Shit. What about Jesse? Jesse Owens. Was a beast. Let me tell you why. He was over there in Berlin in the Berlin games. The games, the things you didn't this know about. This is what you don't yeah. know. He, he was over there. He was he, on the uh, ping pong team too. Yeah, he was on there. He look it up. You look you it up. You goddamn laughing. You think everything funny? Look the shit up. You have you seen the yes, nigga? Was have you seen the nigga tap dance? <laughs> shit, you think he's fast in a straight line? You should see that nigga in one spot. Yeah. Shit, Isaiah Thomas, one of the best basketball players. But Isaiah Thomas wasn't six feet tall neither. Nope. Isaiah Thomas, five foot nine, man. You know Which how, Isaiah you know Thomas? How, the first one, not not the one that played for the Celtics. That's bullshit. That's some bullshit. Shout out to Tacoma, Tacoma, Washington. I'm talking about that from Chicago, Zeke. Hey, let me tell you something about Isaiah Thomas. Talk to him. You know how he scored all them bookings and gave them assists? Who? The goddamn Schultz was hiding. It damn sure was. The goddamn Schultz was right under his nuts. Hat. Trying to get that game over. We get that, get them shorts off them balls. Now, now, yeah. Like he, a bull in a rodeo. Yeah, well, he just Sheet. made it happen. You know who the podcast is for? Who, who the podcast is? The podcast is for old bitches who used to have a nipple piercing. Now the nipple done grew over the piercing. Oh, yeah. I that, see yeah. that on the on the internet. You got an ingrown nipple. Hey, hey, hey. You know exactly who it is. The podcast, let me tell you, this podcast is for this podcast is for old niggas who fuck their women without taking all their clothes off. They get exactly. the church shirt on or the work shirt on. Niggas. And they you, say, who they can fuck you just through the dick you hole? You see it. Yep. You, if you fuck through the dick hole. You got to fuck through the dick hole. You fuck through the dick hole in your drawers. Bro, if you if hey. you fuck through the dick hole and she don't wet your lap all up, she ain't the one. Nope. She it's supposed to be even, wet all on your chest. She ain't your even chest the supposed one. to be wet. If it don't look like chalk fell on your midsection two hours later. Exactly. She exactly. Ain't the one. I, I, was, I, I told her, I said, suck my dick like you're going through something. That's what I told them. I want to feel the shit. Yeah, you know I what they got to do, Carlos? Yeah, you they got to tuck their teeth like this here. You know what else I did? Tuck their teeth. You got to tuck your teeth like that. You might not believe me when I tell right you, there, like Billy. That. What, what you mean? Uh, his, name, his name William. We call him Billy. Yeah, Billy. Yeah, William. Yes. William I, I, left, I left my first wife. What happened? Learned how to put my whole dick in her mouth. Whoa, You're not going to go. disrespect me in my own house. Hey, you know what I told her? You know what I told her? Any I, woman who can fit your whole dick in her mouth no don't respect you as a man. Her. She don't respect you. No. Don't Why would you that? put my whole dick in your the mouth? The entire dick. Who running shit if you can fit my whole dick? If you can press your nose shit. up under my belly button, nope. bitch, you don't respect you know, you me. Know you got to get the fuck on out of here with that evil spirit hey, Carlos, shit. No. You, know what I asked, you know what I asked my, my, my first wife What? before I married her? Mm-hmm. This is the thing that got me to take her down now. I was giving it to her, right? I was hitting it with the stroke. I you said, like baby, that. reach down there and see how much dick ain't in you. <laughs> Fucked her mind up. She had to do some cal- calculation. That's algebra right there. Well, if That's she- a lot of dick. When well, you got dick left over that ain't in there, I said, how much dick ain't in you? How Count much that. dick is You got to have some leftover dick. If you ain't got leftover dick, that's your dick, problem. That's what this podcast is You're using your whole dick. If you're using your whole dick, you're doing too much. Yeah, she don't supposed to be able to handle all that. Yeah, I just you- use the front of my dick. <laughs> oh, the front. Just the light skin part. You niggas know what I'm talking about. Oh, so you, you, oh, dick, so you, oh, dick so get so long and hard, that motherfucker ain't the same color. If you, let me tell you this podcast. This is like this a podcast. Dick strawberry, nigga. It got two different tones on that motherfucker. One part looks sunburnt, the other part looks like it ain't been exposed. Hey, man, we don't even know. We don't even condone that shit over here. I don't know what that was about. Hey, this podcast is for this. This podcast is for any nigga that had to fold some dick up in the hand. <laughs> that word, your, your base be hard, you know, but the tip be hard, but the base be soft, and you can fold that motherfucker any direction. <laughs> This like podcast a, like for the niggas that don't get hard all at once. They yeah. get hard like a W. It be hard, soft, hard, soft. You dick, dick like a SOS. Slinky. You know what they used to call me, Captain Hook? I fu- hey, let me tell you something. I fucked a woman on the other side of the dining room table. I was sitting in this chair. She was in that chair, and I was giving a dick just like this. Nobody saw it. 
I was turning my body in a in a, in a roller chair just like this, dick running right in. Oh, well, there's nothing. I, I ain't been positioned all the time. One sometime I push my dick down and, and step my leg over it and just hit her with some dick like I'm playing a motherfucking big old cello. Yeah, hey, that's what nice. You ever hit her with the backward side under the leg dick? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm trick socking in that pussy. I do a trick shot. Let me tell you something. I'm going to had... put the dick on your clit, rub it up and down three times, rub it down your booty, and I'm going to ram it in your pussy real hard. Yeah, hey, On hey. the count of three. Take a deep breath. Already yeah. did it. You see? It was painful. Let me tell you what this dick Sometimes it, I it, take my dick out, throw it over my shoulder, and hit bitches behind me. <laughs> yeah. That way it look like I'm blessing myself, but I'm fucking these hoes. This podcast is for niggas that do the three tap before they put their dick in. You slap that dick on the, on the ass real quick, then put it right in there. That, you got to get that tap, let them know I'm no. on the way in. See, this podcast. I don't knock on the ass. Somebody might come out and answer the door. You stupid. This podcast is for niggas who know how to pre-pull out. That's the pull out before the pull out. That's you the first you, buck. When you first go hit, yeah. and get out of there. Get out of there and go on and get the rest of that in your hand. This podcast is for niggas who pull out with the condom on just to make sure they don't have no misfires. This podcast for niggas that make that pussy queef and keep going harder. <laughs> you gonna make it beatbox. For niggas who had the pussy that was way better than you expected it to be. And she called you and say, I'm pregnant. And in your mind, you're like, shit, I know. Yeah, cause I let I let that's no, a boy. Ain't no, ain't no way you ain't pregnant. It's a boy. Nutter than you fifteen minutes ago. You lady. thought I you thought it was over. You you fucking for a long time. I've been nutted. I've been, yeah. been nutted. Yeah, I pushed that all up in there. I let that first one. That's that Too first late. about forty two sperms hit that egg. I've been pushing them up in now. <laughs> hey. Shit. Hey, Ladies, if you ever want a nigga to pull out, just tell him he ain't got to pull out. That nigga gonna pull He's out. He's getting out of there. <laughs> that shit sound like a setup. Dump. You ain't got to pull out. Yes, the fuck I, I do. do. Shit. You let me make that decision. You don't authorize me for that. <laughs> no, where's your resistance, ma'am? <laughs> this you, is too easy. You this has got to be a trap. argument for me. Mm-mm. Mm. No, not at all. Now, now, Carlos, you you quite familiar with drug usage. No, I'm not. Wait a what, minute. What the fuck you trying to make it seem like I do a lot of drugs? I'm just saying. I smoke a lot of weed. And weed ain't drugs. Shout out to Washington. Why are you trying to out me like I'm a drug addict? Just Maybe I'm a drug addict. You Maybe are. I have problems. You well, start it out like that. Hey, right. guys, he I do a lot of drugs. I was searching too for hard at the Slim Thug shit. So now I'm a drug addict. Go ahead. No, it's all good. I do my own drug use. No, well, no, no, I'm just saying. I mean, if you got some drugs. It was some comments I was reading, and they were talking about uh, in the comment section. What they say? Uh, they were just making debates about different things, about different drugs, mollies. You, I tell us you got a good Molly story. Man, look, I got I got several Molly stories. First Molly story was one was you ever pop some Molly? You never pop the Molly? Before? You ever lob a whole story to yourself? <laughs> what? What'd you say? I just asked. He, brought up Molly. <laughs> he wanted to talk about pop. I have Molly. never done Molly. So yeah. go on with the story, and I'll just participate. He as looked a at listener. you like nigga, like we ain't do Molly. Yeah, I smoke weed and, no and fucked white women. That's as wild as gonna get for yeah, me. Yeah, no, no, no ecstasy. No, no. Like, I don't know what's in it. I ain't make it. I ain't see it getting grown. Water this is a though. conversation that definitely needs to happen. Us as black men, we're not discussing the drugs that's out here on the Shrooms. Street. Everybody don't do drugs. We don't okay. do drugs. But go on with your uh, Woodstock story. But we story. all got a partner like Billy in the go crew. Ahead, Kurt Cobain, with your story. Some drugs. He asking you about shit you ain't even know what's still All out. his nigga, friends are ever, dead. Y'all per- ever did some peyote? What? No, nigga. <laughs> Percocet. <laughs> Fuck you getting you this shit from? You discovered your spirit animal in the middle of the woods. So y'all ain't never had no Skittles with no acid on them. No, <laughs> Billy. Mushroom. Where are you getting this shit from? Hey, man. All my friends are black. <laughs> Niggas got weed and liquor. That's pretty that's, much that's it. Pretty much a what we Burger set because somebody's sister had a baby. That's it. Nobody, no lean. Nobody. Yeah. Man. What's your story? Go ahead, you drug know, addict. I feel like junkie. you know what? I I'm gonna so probably gonna have to withhold this story to someone else who has drugs. Well, well, fuck experience. it. I wish DC was here. That nigga got all the dope story. Oh, good. Literally, he used to sell dope. Oh, oh. We, I'm glad. Shout you out Al Sharpton. Up. Al Sharpton I think it's funny that we business. said dope and you thought of Al, Al Sharpton. Sharpton. Al Sharpton is dope. I remember when he was fat. Now that's what we talking about. Al Sharpton, Sharpton weighs 62 pounds right now. He's been permed out so long, he telling bitches that's his natural hat. Out here taking selfies. If looking Al Sharpton was a dog, the city would have came and took him back. You're right. You can see his ribs. Al Sharpton out here looking like somebody. Grandmama. Not grandma. Grandmama. grandmama. This nigga here. Uh, that he nigga said, look like he make the fuck out of the uh, He know his body look di- 
look fucked up too. He know it. That's why he keep putting these goofy ass videos out. Either he don't know it, or his whoever it is that's his assistant that keep recording him ain't shit. Yeah. It's him. He got the mirror Cause, behind him too. Cause he got a direct connect with Shade Room. Them hoes go straight to Shade Room. Shout out I mean, to Al Sharpton. Soon as he posts that, the, Al Sharpton with the hell do? Yeah, slick back. Martin Luther with the church shoe. Yeah, get that. Do it. Back. Get down yeah. over here, man. We fuck with Al Sharpton. We fuck with Al Sharpton. Yeah. <clears throat> fuck with Al Sharpton. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the bitches need they hair done. Uh-huh. And look like Al Sharpton. Right. Cause my nigga taking selfies. Yep. Do it all the time. Please. I saw Al Sharpton with a young bitch. Yep. Damn, she was thick as shit. I'm like, Al, you be still on that old shit. Yep. You an old nigga, so you need an old bitch. bitch. Yeah. He was like, no, nah, I like him young. Instagram, they out there having fun. Yeah. He a sugar daddy. Got three young bitches. And I ain't got one bitch. Yeah. <laughs> really need some bitches. bitches. Some hoes or some fun bitches. Right. <laughs> I don't want to show no love. Hope the bitch don't do me like that girl did you with Slim Thug. Woo! And that's the way it happened to him. I'm low, and I be rapping to him. Side nigga Sunday. I might hit your main lady one day. Yeah. You won't see my name in a phone. Cause I done took it out, bro. Mm -hmm. Cause I done took her out, bro. I done took yeah. her out, bro. Fuck to pull it out, bro. Fuck yeah. to pull it out, bro. <laughs> Put it in her mouth, bro. She was nasty. Said she had some pussy and she needed to get at me. Yeah. She Snapchat me. She showed me Kathy. That's the pussy name. She named her pussy Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> it was Harry. I really had to have it. And every time I touched it and rub it, she let me grab it. Hey. I had to dig up in my hand. She want me stab it. Mm. She said, Los, you be fucking like a rabbit. And then I slowed it down here though with the turtle dick. Got crazy. Circle, circle, circle dick. Ooh, she liked it. She want to bite it. Her homegirl said she wants some. Now they fighting. <laughs> hey. She shouldn't have told her about that dick. I hit her homegirl off real quick. Yep. And now they say I'm community dick because I hit one or two chicks with it. Hey, hey I can do this shit all day. I thought the rabbit was going to eat the cabbage. No, nigga, I was get, waiting on cabbage, nigga. You didn't get what I was doing? Hell so yeah, I got it all. Right, cool. It was I, you know, it was, when you listen Hell back to yeah. it, this shit always better. I was present as word. fuck. Yeah. That shit was fire right there. Chad. People yeah. going to listen back Watch. to it and be like, that shit was fire. I'm here now saying this shit. Go. Watch this shit, though, man. You a guest on the show. Hi. And I know you fuck with shit. Chad, give me a beat, pimp. Show Nate Jackson how we get down over here. We're going to make a whole song. Give me some. Give me We're some, making Chad. a whole song. Hook and all, goddamn it. No, you do the beat first. I can't do the beat first. That Watch way. this shit. Mm. Is that a, yeah. dry, a dry eraser racer? Wait. Nigga, we be doing that shit with erasers. Yay. When I get the pussy from the girl, I pull the panties to the side. Hey. To the side. Yeah. To the side. I get the pussy from the girl, I pull the panties to the side. Hey. Pull that pussy to, to the, the side. side. Hey. To, to the side. I get the pussy hey. from the girl, I pull the panties to the side. Hey. The Hello. To the side. Hello. To the side. Hello. Pull that pussy. Hey, hey, hey hold that. on. Is this a song about pulling those panties down? Yeah. Because if it is, then I'm down. I met her yesterday. She had the Vicky Secrets on. You know the ones, red with the thong. I with saw the, uh, the front was kind of sticking out. What's up with that? Yeah. And then I learned she had some hair up on the cat. Heck. And you know, that's the old school. I like those. So shout out to Amber Rose. Hey, she yeah. let me see it and touch it and rub it. No, she didn't. But she should have because that would have really been some shit. Because hey. I'm the type of dude who love to touch vaginas, man. Vaginas but man. when I get it, I pull the panties aside and everything. When I get the pussy from the girl, I pull mm -hmm. the panties Ooh. to the side. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Shout the out side. to that clitoris yeah. and to all the time. To the side, the I get the pussy from the girl, right. I pull the panties to the hey, side. Nate. Look. To the side. Look. What you do? To the side. I pull the panties to the side. To Took the a side. little look inside. I pull my dick out, then I pull it, put my dick up all inside. Hey. All inside. Hey. In and out, it is like a robot. Woo. She used to call me names, Robocop. Hey. Robocop, when I be bashing all them good, she gonna give me some bad head and I'ma hey. smash it till it's stuck. Hey. Dick is stuck like dogs fucking in the street. Hey. They call me that because I got that cripple me. Hey. Hey. 
kryptonite. It's kryptonite. I better yeah, it's kryptonite. I get that bitch that dick and then I tell that bitch good night. I pull the pussy up and yeah. I pull the panties to the side. You got to. To the side. You must. Hey, to the side. It's I get a must. the pussy from the girl. Right. I pull the panties to the side. I had to. To the side. I had to. To the side. I get the pussy. Get the butt. Yeah, right. you know I'm going to fuck. Okay. I ain't going shitting and I'm hitting and I'm hitting it in the truck. Ooh. Fuck that. I pull up and I back out. Get the pussy. You think I am playing, but my nigga ain't bullshit. Skeeter. I'm a finna pass the ski skeet on the track. Billy says ski skeet is some noodles. That was whack. Hey. It is what it is. I am the golden kid. I'ma switch up the flow on the ride. Nah, stop nah, nah. Well, hold on. When I come up in that girl, thing, I, I had to do to another side. round, bro. I wanna pull them panties down, yo. The first time I hit it, the panties was to the side, but I gotta flip her over and then I'm letting her ride because when she got down with my pimp and I told her what the fuck it was, side nigga Sunday, and she was loving all the stuff. 85 South Show, that's what it's all about, though. She said she wanna come over and give me a little mouth, though. I hit her on my couch, bro. We never made it to my room, and then I skeeted on her shirt because she was sucking way too soon. She wanna get to know me, but she that ain't what it's side, about. 85 South side, Show making love all up in your mouth. Side. When I get the pussy, I'ma pull the panties to the side. Yeah. To the side, to the side. I'ma pull the panties to the side. Go ahead. I'ma pull the panties to the side. You better. I'ma pull the panties to the side. What kind of panties? Right. Right. What kind of panties? Oh, baby. Do she have the granny panties on or mm. is it a damn thong? Hey, I think she had the boy shorts on. Yeah. Hey, I think she had some boy shorts on. Right. Hey. No, I think she had the girl shorts on. She's yeah. the type hey. of girl that has a bunch of different type of varieties. Hey. That's why I just keep it inside of me hey. when I'm talking about feelings. The pussy that I be killing this sometimes I need the sexual healing. Hey. And sexual you be hitting healing. them nasty hoes who need that penicillin. Yeah. Have the room smell like shellfish when you drilling. Yeah. Now, hey. All of y'all nasty. You keep doing that, your dick and balls gonna be ashy. Ashy. And Never that ain't ever. really no treat, cause right. uh, you don't want your genitals out here smelling like feet. Yeah. <laughs> genitals smell like feet. There you go. That's but a good you one. really, you really don't want that. You really that like that can really be a problem. To right. The side. Um, you know what I was thinking the other yeah. day, Carlos. What were you, uh, you, you going to think, Billy? Well, you know, <laughs> what were you going to discuss? If your Billy? genitals smell like feet, then there's possibly something else going wrong. I well, mean, Billy, there's what a lot type of people of out woman, here. Uh, Why is everyone talking a like we have out a here, lot of Billy, money and horses? There's a lot of people out here, Billy, who genitals are not up to par. Genitals. I know a girl. Her pussy smells like barbecue potato chips. I like barbecue potato mm, chips. What's yep. The until name? you stick your head in the bag and you smell a bag of barbecue potato chips. I like that. Can hey. I stick my head in her bag? Hey, wait a, minute, wait a minute. 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 We're not gonna do that. Nope. 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 We're gonna do that. So mm. he's not gonna do that. Not gonna do it. Well, nope. I guess the. I said it here once and I'll one. say it again. Look, look. When we're talking about trash, we yes. won't talk about garbage. garbage. We really won't. If you're talking about trash, you won't talk about garbage. Yes, I, I agree. Indeed. I yes, couldn't indeed. agree with you more in that well, one. Welcome uh, back to the 85 South Show. This is a podcast. 85! Yes, indeed. For niggas who do shit exactly like that. What is Black China doing that makes everyone spend money on her pussy? I want to know. I want to know mm. right now. It's not on her pussy. I saw the text messages oh in which he was requesting to oh actually fill God. the insides of her womb. Whoa. Therefore, all of this is off of seeing two nipples that he also doesn't wow. like very much. This Speaking of Black China. Time. This will yeah. be the per before you move on. Before you move on. I see where you're going. Mm. I want to give a special shout out to my man Conceited. He has a very funny meme that's popular all over social media media where he's making the meme face. See, the Someone took the conceited meme face, yes, replaced the lips with Black China's vagina. Classic comedy moment. Oh, he's got... Pussy China. mouth ass con. Pussy mouth. Pussy mouth. And when you speak about Black China <laughs> like that, uh, that's a, that's a, that, pussy that's a pussy mouth. Pussy oh, that's that's got to hurt. <laughs> that has got to hurt. This nigga loves his Yes, has got indeed. to hurt. Speaking of people that Black China has had sex with, go ahead. Ti is doing big things. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't whoa, speak whoa. on Ti. He's I a goddamn general. I respect that. No, no, no. Man. You, can't, you, you can't disrespect the king on this show, Billy. No, we we're live not in Atlanta, and we're he has not niggas gonna, that will come and see us. We're not going to disrespect. This is not what not. I heard. This is what I saw. This is what I also <laughs> know. <laughs> yep. Uh, where nobody will slander Tip. If he won't respond, neither will we. <laughs> Tip, we wish you we wish you and the family much love. Shout out to Damani King, Tip, uh, the baby's King, beautiful. Major, 
uh, uh, Harris, everybody, the whole Harris family, Tiny Harris. That Tamika, nigga has I pull up a, potential. I want to give a shout out to Tamika and Tiny. To, t- Tamika to and, both of to them. Tamika and Tiny get a shout out. Did you see Tiny on the BET Awards? Oh, yes. Fuck these voices. Shout out to S. Listen, they came no, out and murder. You love Escape, huh? No. Yeah, you do. I do, but I'm saying. Yeah, you do. I felt like in the midst of all this shit that been going on, in the midst of all this shit that been going on, I'd like to see her come out and get that little victory. Tiny was out that bitch singing. It didn't even her sound thick off. and shit. You know, you know what I'm saying. What? It didn't sound thick. Okay. Because on the show she'd be like, kill, 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 kill. she sang and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. That's she her got gift. so much talent. It, she's a, a very talented singer. I was. She was very talented. Songwriter. Much love to her and, and Candy she's sweet too. She's nice. Burris and and the Scott sisters. Uh, Tasha and, and Tamika and Candy sang her ass off too. Was. Yeah, like Candy talented. sang her ass off too. Candy, Bro, hey. Candy been singing her ass off forever. But she need to just keep singing Escape songs, goddamn it, because she killed that shit. Candy is, yes, yeah, she a, killed she's that. She's very dope. That was out of nowhere. I was like, God damn, I, I was at the I, love, I was I sitting there looking this. like, I feel bad damn. as black people because we discard a lot of our talent. We do. It's some real talented motherfuckers. No, out you could be, be sleeping still be on out them. There. We don't sleep on them. We just, I feel like we don't appreciate them until something happens. Just like Prodigy. Prodigy passed away. You see they messed the mural up? Yeah, man. That's some hater ass shit. We really got to start punching people back in their motherfucking face. Yeah. Yeah, man. I really feel like they should bring that back. Punching niggas in the mouth. Punching motherfuckers in. Not a whole bunch. Not fighting. Just punch them in the mouth. You need to get hit. In in the the words of Mike Tyson, everybody got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Punching the fucking face. Yep. 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 You gotta get punched in your fucking pussy ass mouth, cocksucker. You son of a bitch. It's a little hot in here. Bro, I try to make sure we use all the words that are offensive on this show so nobody feels left out. <laughs> just me? Are we ignoring the heat in the you room as, as you, a production? It's you. Deal? It's you. I got a little extra meat on me. You I ain't going to bullshit you. you but I just wanted to know, should I continue you got a and towel. act as So a, you knew you nigga. was prepared to be hot. You knew this was the big boy. Can we get my nigga a glass of water? Woo! Glass of water, please. We can't be down here running these white folks' electric bill up. They was already nice enough to teach us the code. I'll ignore it from now on. It is. Listen, the way y'all got this AC blowing in here, man, it's so quality to have it. You so need a break cool on the set. You need to step out. I feel like we're on. We can take a break. Set. That's the beauty of this shit. It's you got not the live. whole room at sixty. This would be a perfect time for us to step out and smoke some more weed and then come back and let these people hear the fucking intro because we don't even. This shit might come out in eight months. How the intro? <laughs> <sound>? <laughs> How the intro sound right there? Bruh, the intro is actually dope. No, do the the first one. Which one? 85. 85, 5, 5. That was the shit. <laughs> That's the shit, man. man. We've been having a lot of, we're making a lot of progress over here on this show, Billy. Can you feel it? Man, I can feel it. Man, this shit is groundbreaking. Man, Ain't nothing like this nowhere. Googly, googly, and if you already own this, you a trendsetter and you ahead of all of your homies. Hey, man, do Get your favor. friends on it, man. Tell, I got you. Because, nigga, I'm, I'm just I about to You ask. just turned the mic. Oh, yeah. Let me tell y'all something. If you watch the 85 South Show and you fuck with this show, you need to do more. You need to tell more people. You need to leave your house right now. Put this on pause. You think I'm fucking with you? Go down to the mall and tell people that look like you they need to be jamming 85 South. Ain't nothing like this. Bust up in the mall and say, we got titties in the building. Do that. Change your name to 8555. Go on Facebook. Make your profile picture to 85 South Show right. logo. Go on Fuck the Instagram you. page. Push the show for a day. Right. How about that? 24 hours. You ain't got shit to every talk about? listener, change your profile picture to 85 South. Because ain't nothing like this. You can't go on no TV channel, no, no radio show, and get unadulterated, just black boy Watch joy, this. black girl magic, Watch and this. just niggerness. Go this ahead. shit is beautiful. Go ahead, Bill. And now a message from our good friends over at 92 AM Rebel Radio. Listen here, goddammit. We've been checking the numbers, and the numbers are falling off. We've been keeping the retention rate at 77%. Now it's down to 72%. We have been losing sponsorship dollars because you're not supporting the goddamn movement. Now listen here. If me and my cousin Billy have to come over there, we're going to whip some ass. Hell, hell, if they want to whip some ass, let me tell you what you can do it in. You can do it in the brand new 1998 Dodge Durango. You got a, a brand new you 1998 Dodge Durango. I'm talking about a V8 Hemi motor. These people, they were awesome. Hemi, listen, listen, we got V8. one of our satisfied customers, Nathaniel, who bought a car from us three weekends ago. Yeah, I bought a car three weekends ago, and I'm glad, because I used to talk about my voice, but now my car's so goddamn big and my hands are so strong, these niggas respect me. Now, Billy, what kind of car hood. did you sell it? Well, 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 when he came down there, I said, hell, he's a big fella with a small voice, and we want to compensate for that. 
So what I made sure he had was was a 2000. This is probably the newest car I ever sold in my goddamn life. But it was a Dodge Magnum with the back chopped off that had a goddamn it toe exchange on the back. You know I what told I mean? him, I said, listen, man, I never go broke if I got a truck in my life. And I knew I wanted that Dodge. I want that Hemi on that beat. But I also want to be able to tow my baby mama car when that bitch start tripping and shit. Let me so tell I you like something. shot that whole head, give me both. Nigga, I need a double double. The, let me tell you about that car, man. Let me tell you about the car. The car's got a four cylinder motor. I took it right out of an 84 Honda Civic. And I did an overhaul on it. And I That's right, goddammit, because when you tune in to 92 AM, we're going to make sure you got the best deals around. Now look here, if you come down here this evening, we're going to give you two tickets to go to Ja Rule's Concert Festival down there at St. Thomas. Get the fire. They got another festival going down. It's the Fright the Fire Fest. They had to cancel the other one because it started raining. But we got tickets to the Ja Rule concert if you want to come down here. 92 AM, Rebel Radio. We got the uh, interview coming up. Not with Little John, but we got the East Side Boys. Hey, yo, if you got the East Side Boys, let me tell you what you no, got to have. No, the East Side Boys. They're east, from the East Side. The east, the Even east. I know that. It's the East Side Boys. I, let me I, get I, the I, ticket. I know about the East Side Boys. Let okay. me tell you what you don't know about. Well, tell you me. don't know about that new, brand new, spanking new Toyota Celica that we got in 1993. Now, you're not going to keep thing. coming on here talking about this new old shit. Do you got some new wait, shit? Wait, wait, wait. Did you say a brand new Toyota Celica? Yeah, well, it's only got uh, 300 miles on it. Do it got a sunroof on it? Well, the sunroof, if you want to put a sunroof in, if you come on down right now, I got my brother Tony. He's going to come out there. He'll cut a sunroof into some bitch. We also got auto upholstery, but you've never seen a Toyota Celica with all the Listen, on the well, seat. listen, goddammit. This commercial is sponsored in part by Gladys Knight's Chicken and Waffles. 92 AM Rebel Radio presented to you by Diet Mountain Dew and Gladys Knight's Chicken and Waffles. If you could call in right now and be the 92nd caller at 9.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the ninth day of the 20th month, we're going to send you a t-shirt. Hello? My granddaddy 92. Is that cool? Call us on September 29th and see if you're the winner. And speaking of September 29th, you got to definitely believe that we got a 1994 probe. That is sure clean. You can eat off the motor. It's got a dual exhaust system. It's got a Ferrari side panel. You know what I have Well, listen there, man. We're going to wrap it up down here, but you can catch us next week down at Pop's Cat Food. Cat, cat Food. Pop's Catfish Seafood Kitchen. We're going to be down there doing a live remote. Uh, Billy's going to bring us. He's got a 97 GMC Sierra that we've been trying to sell for over four months. 1300 miles on it and we want 1300 dollars i finally got that shrimp smell out the back you know what it was it was a bag it was a goddamn bag of shrimp back there 92 a.m rebel radio in your face motherfucker. Thank you, 92 rebel. <laughs> that's classic bits right there we got bits you know what inspired us to get some bits on this show what lavar happened? walker lavar because LeVar Walker came on this show and did bits. I saw that episode. I think when he did his whole set. He sex. did bits. We was <laughs> Slowly. Like, we were like, you know what? We, we need bits. bits. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to let At the it. time, you weren't with the shit. I wasn't with the shit. Let me tell and you You know something. what? Sometimes I, you I didn't want a nigga to you, outbit no, my no, no. show. He brought bits. We didn't when have bits. When you are sitting amidst greatness, sometimes it's hard to notice. I'll give you two examples. One, Bernie Mac's classic set. I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. It's two bitches in the front row not laughing, looking at each other going, fuck he talking about? No. Go back and watch it. Second point in, in my case I'm making, exhibit B. On Wild and Out, while Carlos and Chico are doing what is now classically known as the old school bit, <laughs> it's other niggas on stage trying to get the mic. Yep. Come on, fam, let me get that, man. Fuck bro, all that on, old man. school fuck shit, man. I got shit, some shit bro. I want to say. Nah, let me get Sometimes you just gotta let great be great. When LeVar hit them bits, I watched the show. I was like, first of all, this nigga's way slower than he should be. Cause LeVar be like, well, my mother, see, she used to, she was born a Leo, but she didn't like what the newspaper said that the Leos was going through that month. So she switched to Sagittarius. Hey, it nothing like when LeVar call you and tell you a story he already told you. Hey, man, so look, I just... Let I me was, take you on the tour. I was, man, I was, man, so how is this shit going to work out with Wild Enough for y'all, man? Because you, you and Nate, y'all are both kind of washed up. 
That nigga didn't call nobody saying that about Nate. He called me and said that shit. Hey, man. Said, y'all both kind of washed up. Y'all niggas do great LeVar impressions. Oh, man, I get I get, I, I get a call from LeVar at least three times a week, and it's usually for 30, 30 minutes. Minute. He going to get you for 30 partner. minutes. And he he going to say shit. one thing. That's one of our partners who believe in talking on the phone still. No, he burnt. He talked to his phone get hot. Remember yeah. when your phone get hot, you used to have to let it cool off? Yeah, it's man. too hot. That's, that's, what that's how is. I got to ask him one night. My daddy said, stay off the phone, boy, till you finish your work. Man, my daddy came in and checked on me at like 5 in the morning. My phone was sizzling hot. Bro, your dad a real nigga. You man, remember when we was in Houston, man, and we was fucked up going through the airport? Man. And your daddy was with us, and uh, they wouldn't let us on the plane. And then we went up there and acted the motherfucking fool. fool. And then finessed our way on that goddamn tight ass plane. Hey, we Bro, did. that shit. Hey, we was on a spirit plane. That oh, bitch was shit. packed so goddamn tight. I swear with more people on that motherfucker than they were supposed Bruh, to. Bro, it was more than that. That was the last to. goddamn flight coming up out of Houston that day, man. We man. on that bitch packed. It felt and like we was on all the drunk, middle arms bruh. up and, and had drunk. niggas riding I want three you to understand. We was fu- I, was, I know I was fucked up. I'm fucked. I still, I smelled like a lit blunt going through that motherfucker. Hey, Cause I'm the type of nigga like when I go to a city, it don't matter how much we we get, it got to be gone before airport time. Yeah. Like I take the bag and be like, "This too much for me, fellas. Somebody need to start rolling this shit." Hey, I ain't nigga, saying it's too much for me to smoke, but way ain't. to the airport, nigga. Man, hey, we tapped you out in Washington. So, who, Billy? You. Oh, that shit was different. Yo, that was definitely different. <laughs> nah, because look. <laughs> nah, the hey, Carlos was like, hey, man, god damn. Uh, I don't nah, know what you're going to do with the rest of this week. Because this is what it was. But nigga, I'm this high. Was, so. I didn't want the shit to go to waste. <laughs> and I had way too much. Nigga, because I was you giving away weed for a week, the man. Nigga this gave me, shit remember you took smoke. me to the this nigga house. Shit, Carlos is smoke. It's a nigga that owned a dispensary. This nigga gave me, yeah, y'all I told the nigga how much well, I all, wanted. They need, to, all the listeners, you got listeners all over the world. You got to understand there's certain states that it's legal in. Washington okay, State listen. is legal. Uh, so we when he landed, it. I said, we got to get you right. We going to the weed store. And I'm not bullshitting. They got a wall. As long as this nigga. wall, and it's set up like, like, they, like a, uh. Right. More than no, that. it's more, more than, than that. It's like, uh, okay, look. what's that store in the mall with all the earrings and shit? Claire's? Claire. Like that. Yeah. That's how much weed is hanging. Just like earrings. Nigga, we went to the nigga house that yeah. owned the shit. Yeah. I told him how much weed I wanted. Mm-hmm. And then, no, I told him how much weed I wanted. Yeah. And he said, no, fuck that. Put your money. I was, I was being real respectful. I was going like, look, I want this much. Here go my little money for mm-hmm. it. He was like, no, fuck that. The nigga had a big, you know, the big pickle jaw. The nigga had a big ass pickle jaw. He stuck his fucking elbow in that bitch and was like, "This you." And I was like, "I my flight leave in a, tomorrow, nigga. I, what the fuck? I'm, so I've been I'm smoking all day. This I'm smoking. And I'm like, I'm, nigga, please I'm smoking, slow down, nigga. The show no, is tonight. I'm I need smoking blunt like this cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in the face. Just he like, nigga, you gonna be straight? I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna smoke two more before the show. That nigga was putting out some long ass roaches. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was Snoop Dogging them bitches. roaches cow. were other niggas' whole blunts. Hey, ain't nothing like having too much it weed. Was, it was a good problem to have, though, man. Much love to all the people who look out for the weed because they know a nigga be from out of town. Yeah. And I'm not trying to have an obscene amount. I really just, I'm gonna tell you when I'm leaving and mm-hmm. you try to gauge that shit. You know what I mean? I need, a, I figured out on the average trip, I need like nine or 10 grams. That's it. I need like 10 grams. Do you, do you do edibles? That shit don't, I smoke so much, it don't, it don't make me trip out like the other people. I could take some and be cool as fuck. I, fuck I, we that. did a podcast. Goddamn goldfish. Well, I'm going to find the episode. That was, What's the episode me? number? I ate two bags of fucking weed edibles when we did the LA shit hey. and did the whole podcast. Right. And that shit didn't fuck with me. Man, I, I, don't I, I, I don't think. I don't think. You gave me, the, you gave me them edibles on Wild and Out. This nigga was like, he popped the goddamn. Ha! He was fucked. Oh, up. I was high. Then I, got, hey, I did not thought they knew so I was high, and this, they was gonna pull me off the show. This how you know the nigga was high, Nate. The nigga was so high, he tried to wear a leather jacket <laughs> on, on that hot ass cell. Like nigga, you gonna die? Hey, I was high. Remember, I you said, got like nigga, you can't don't tie that shit around your waist. You look like a lesbian. Hey, that, <laughs> it not it's not tied it around my. waist. I don't know. I don't that trust niggas who tie shit around. That nigga tied his leather jacket around his waist like a cast member from Greece. That nigga that tied something around his waist got an older sister that he look up to. Nigga try to tie a flannel shirt around his waist, think he got style. Nigga, you sassy as fuck. <laughs> what y'all in here doing? I'm a grown ass man. I don't what want y'all niggas in here doing. If it ain't a belt, don't nothing supposed to be around your waist, nigga. What are I'm, y'all in here doing? 
No, nigga. Tell the DJ stop playing. This nigga here. He on my ass. This nigga be tying shit around his waist, man. I don't trust that nigga. You know know what you never told him? The first time you ever came to my house. Oh, man. This nigga walking around. You and Damn Fool. You and Damn Fool came to my house, and it was your first time ever coming over there. Come over this nigga. How did he. Wait, how did Damn Fool pep talk you before you came over there? That nigga was like, look, man, when we get in here, ain't no telling what this nigga. God damn, you sound like that. You sound like fool. Nah, look, this Ain't nigga no Billy thing. different, man. This, <laughs> man, the nigga might have three white bitches reading the Bible, smoking motherfucking weed out of hookah, man. The nigga, the nigga is crazy, man. Uh, uh. Man, I go over this nigga house, bro. As soon as we get in there, that shit is exactly what he said it was. This nigga got motherfucking, I ain't going to say this nigga name, but this nigga got a, a well-known producer over there editing some comedy sketches for him. <laughs> like, the, the if you knew who the nigga was, you'd be surprised that he was over at, at this nigga house actually working. Billy walking around this motherfucker looking like uh, Black Hugh Hefner with a smoking robe on. <laughs> he got about three pretty bitches playing chess. I'm like, this ain't even a, this is three. Odd. That's what I'm saying. This is, <laughs> three. This is two bitches on a team trying to beat this other super smart. <laughs> It was just a wild experience. And then I had around, champagne. I think nigga, that was the problem. I was drinking champagne. Around, drinking champagne, eating motherfucking strawberries and shit. I'm like, nigga, is this video set? How much money is this nigga getting? Right. Because he is way too rich right now. <laughs> Up, before we do this, we must take a break right now. Wait till you see what's coming up in the second half of the third quarter of this episode of the motherfucking 85 South Show. My nigga Ronnie Jordan is in God the damn it. You know a break come in when this nigga show up. Yeah. Joe, what we looking like? Oh, we all flow is good. Cause there's nobody there's nobody growing in it. There ain't no farm club. There's no there's no constant funny happening. There's no just niggas in the back just you know what we should do. There's no energy. There's no nothing's being born in the back. It's like going to a football game and ain't nobody playing catch. Like something missing. Mm. And so Whilst they have the engine right and they know how to make big dollars with it and pay big dollars and run it through agencies, that's fine. But the relationships is what comedy runs on because we've seen comedy clubs come, close, open, go, room, start up, they go two years and then the promoter we've dies. Seen managers to goddamn steal the money in. All of that. So and, it's like but what's going to remain comedy. true is we still going to be in the game. We might have a full beard now, <laughs> we might be bald headed, but we're going to still be, the comics is still going to be. If you go to a comedy club, they gonna be around the, the culture, the comedy culture in that area just ain't popular. You know, that club particularly, because like you can take Hollywood, for example, right? The comedy store is like a college dorm. Like there's so many comics, shows or not, at the end of the night, everybody going to this comedy store. It's, I mean, I'm about, it's lit. And then you standing out there, you see Louis C.K. and Russell Peters and like, it's lit. You're like, it's literally millionaires standing out here drinking Michelob Ultra. Just talking, and, and nobody even want to hear business. We just chilling. And you go down to the Laugh Factory, and the only comics allowed in the building are the ones on the lineup. Yeah. Unless it's a promoter night, then you can go upstairs until it's packed. They'd be like, "Hey, no comics, y'all." And you just look, and they'd be on the wall like you. Everybody outside leaning on Hollywood Boulevard. Man, mm. they tripping, man. Damn, damn. You know. So, Parlor's a good club. They, they do.